And we are back. This is Legacy Season 3, Episode 11. We are officially back from a three-week hiatus. Suffice it to say, I've kind of missed this show. The last two episodes in particular have been actually really good. Like, the real Season 3 from 305 on onwards have actually been pretty good, better than Season 2. But 309 and 310 in particular have were actually really good. Not perfect, but they were good. So I'm hoping that continues. I don't think we're going to find out who the masked person is tonight. I mean, we could, but there was an interview, like, a week or two ago saying that we're going to find out soon in the next few episodes, like, in these coming episodes. I don't think it's going to be this one. I feel like we might find out next week. And if if, if we get anything tonight, it's just going to be more teases. But I don't I don't think we're going to find out this this week. I hope... I, I want to, but I don't think we will. I'm... I want it to be Clark, but I don't know. A lot of the people having theories about it being land, like the real Landon kind of makes sense. Because the Landon we currently have still seems off. And there is a theory that he's from the Wish Box. Or something. That would kind of make sense. And then the masked person's the real Landon. I can actually see it being the real Landon. Like, I want it to be Clark. And I hope it is. But I can see it being Landon. But either way, I don't, I don't think we'll find out tonight. Oh, and Dark Josie, because the promo. What is that about? I feel like it's not real. Like, I feel like it's some kind of hallucination thing. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to see what happens. Ah, oh, that, that's the wish, wish box, right? Is that Clark? That's far apart, actually. It's Clark! Again! They can't be doing this for nothing, right? They could have made it anyone else, but they made it Clark. I really hope he's the masked person. I miss Clark. Or a special someone. Great. This game is answered. Our problems, and we're down. Oh, it's hope. Something just happened. Hope inspires Cleo. Brilliant ideas. It's gonna be dark, Josie. Oh, never mind. I have this, and can I borrow it? Knock yourself out. I was just using it as a stand-in for my wizard's focus. Crystal, hey, you don't LARP, do you? That's how we're gonna get Dark Josie. She's gonna use that, and you. it's gonna project Dark exactly Josie. Rip. Oh. So he's dead? Ew. Ew. What is that? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Ew. Ew. Whoa. What? Wait, broke this thing? It looks just fine. I knew it. I knew that was how she was gonna come back. Once, once she took the crystal, I knew that was how. Josie are twins, right? How'd you figure that out? Because you're the evil one. Excuse me. Do it. This is what it takes to prove I didn't kill anyone. I'm in. How is this possible? Do I think she's lying? I just. Well, I can touch you. What even is this thing? Well, it's dead now. Oh. That was close. Hope? Uh. Ew. So it is carrying over to her physical form. You are not going to like this. But ask any of your friends about this, but instead, you asked a question to a crystal that lets you talk to yourself. Why? Because you already knew the answer. I mean... Josie, I need your help. Josie's gonna save hope! See, so yeah, that's why she turned so young. She didn't kill him, but she... Helped him die, so it kind of counts as a kill. 
I'm so sorry. That's so sad. Okay, forget D&D. According to Filipino legend, birdlings are like living viruses. They replicate themselves through physical contact. If you get bit by one, it's only a matter of time before you turn into one. Ew. Nope. Ew. You don't know the half of it. According to the lore, we only have one hour left. I feel like Wade is gonna find out, be the first one to find out Landon's not Landon. Then why if this doesn't work? His face, when Landon, remember the whatever thing? He knows it's not him. We're figuring it out. I want you to drop the axe and be honest. Is that something you're capable of? Huh. This isn't you. Fight it. If Josie is also, the one to save Hope, I'm gonna scream. I really liked Josie. Aww. And there's no witch here to cast a spell. So she has to give her magic back. back. Fey magic just won't cut it. I know what you're trying to do. I'm not gonna take back my magic just so you can take me over. For the last time, I don't need to take over because I already live in here. But you're about to get evicted. There's the girl I know. The tough bitch that buried the hatchet in me. The one that said that she was both strong and good. But if you're so strong, why are you afraid of your own power? And if you're so good, how can you let your friend turn into a monster? She's gonna take it back for Hope. It's the TikTok. it's what they're doing. She's gonna do it for Hope. I didn't know burblings were so judgy. You want something to eat? Josie's gonna say no. Eat this. She took her magic back just to save Hope. I will take my hosey content for the night. Okay. Magic back. I had to, to enchant this. For her girlfriend! Wait! Obviously she's gonna be fine. He likes her. Yeah. Why it about me? That is actually very sweet of you, Kayla. Thank you for being honest with me. You're welcome. I'm sorry it took so long. Oh. Just the last time I was not ask her on a date. Ready to roll? So like, can we give Josie some credit Tonight, too? We're going to be exploring can the these talk? Of Shadow Spider. I'm not gonna get that anymore. Okay, good, John Snow. At least we got some stuff. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> yes! Ow. <laughs> we're cozy. But... Mitchell's wrong about one thing. You're not evil. You are not a monster. <laughs> Ethan? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, cause I really thought that you were here today. Wasn't there a, a robber or something? Like you oh, hi! Be from turning into a this is who I am. Does that mean you're gonna move back? I'm not sure about that one yet. No. That's so funny. <laughs> I know, oh, see, I knew that. I'm so glad that you cut away from this scene. Landon's getting us that he stabbed you in the heart. Landon wouldn't do that. After you called him a liar. He didn't have a choice. He would have done the same thing. Yeah, but Landon wouldn't. He would never hurt you. He wouldn't ever. do it if it risked her dying. There's something wrong. It's not Landon. The 
masked person has to be the real Landon. <sighs> Next week, maybe? Okay, can I just say, I didn't really expect- Okay, I knew we were getting some hosey tonight because of the synopsis saying Josie steps in to help Hope with the plan thing that goes wrong. So I knew we were getting something. I didn't expect this much. I really thought they, were, they weren't going to show the hosey talk scene, but they showed it and I'm so happy. Hosey, all they have to do is be in the same room, breathe the same air, mention each other's name. And I go crazy. And Hope wanted Josie to move back, but Josie's not ready yet. Oh my god, I will take my Hosey crumbs, okay? And Josie taking her magic back to save Hope. I love this ship, I really do. I was kind of hoping Dark Josie would like, since she was Josie's subconscious, I was kind of hoping she would like say something about her like secretly loving Hope or something that would have been so good, but no. I kind of figured Dark Josie was going to, I didn't, I, I didn't think of the stone, the prism, but I knew it wasn't actually going to be like her coming back. I mean, I'm not saying she won't ever come back in the future, she could, but I just knew with this episode it was, it was something else, something that wasn't real technically. But still, it was nice seeing her again. I'm popular opinion, but I kind of like Dark Josie stuff. Better than the Necromancer, I'll give you that. Speaking of the Necromancer, is he dead? Or not? Technically, is he's not really dead because he can just revive. Because he's a Necromancer. When's the 180 coming? It's already been said there's supposed to be like a 180 coming that's like gonna change the show, the tone and everything. It's gonna be like a game changer. I feel like it's the next episode because not counting the first four episodes of the season, that was just finishing season two, episode 12 technically serves as episode eight of season three, which tends to be the mid-season finale. So what if episode 12, it's not gonna be a mid-season finale, but it's gonna be like written like one almost. Basically, I feel like the next episode is going to be where the Game Changer comes, I hope. I want to know what this 180 is. It, I really hope it's not that. That the masked person is landing or something. That's, that's not really much of a Game Changer. But after this episode, yeah, I'm kind of convinced the masked person isn't Clark. I mean, we got him again with the freaking video. I feel like they're doing that on purpose. I want Clark back. What if Landon, the one we have right now, actually is Clark? I could see it, to be honest. It's either Clark in disguise as Landon, or he's from the Wish Box. I don't know. It could be either or, but yeah, now I'm kind of convinced the masked person is the real Landon. In a way, it kind of makes sense, so I don't know if we'll get that next episode or the one after that. I don't know, but it's, it's supposed to be coming soon, so, well, you know, I don't know. Oh my god, the Finch flashback was so sad. Like, once I saw the... It, it was kind of easy to put two and two together that she was going to help her grandfather die. That kind of technically counts as a kill, activating her werewolf curse. But still, that was kind of sad. But, like, is she leaving now? Like, Okay, yeah. I, mm, I'm not the biggest fan of Josie and Finch, mainly because I'm a hosey stan always. But, like, is that just... It? I don't know. And oh my god, Ethan! Okay, I'm also 100% convinced that he, he's gonna become supernatural. Like, I feel like at first they're gonna want to take his memories away, but he's a regular. They're not gonna. What's he? What are they gonna do? Erase his memories and then he's just gonna go back to having one scene per episode saying, "Hey, no, come on." They had to have made him a regular for a reason. So I feel like at some point, by the end of the season, MG is going to turn him. And honestly, I kind of hope so, because I really like their friendship, MG and Ethan's dynamic. So whether it's next episode, or the next, or just sometime before the end of the season, I want them to make him supernatural. Please. MG. 
And now Hope knows that Landon isn't Landon, and we're getting some of that next week. I really hope we find out who he is, though, whether it's Clark in disguise, or he's from the Wish Box, because we never really, did we ever really get an answer as to what the Wish Box gave Hope? When, like, do we know what exactly she wished for? I know a lot of people thought it was Cleo, but it's not Cleo. <laughs> uh, what if she, like, the most obvious answer is she would wish for Landon back, and what if she got that? What if the whole thing with the Ascendant failed? And Landon coming back in 308 was from the wish box. But why would it take so long? I don't know. I'm confused. See, overall, I don't know, so I'm just gonna stop guessing. But anyway, that is Legacy Season 3, Episode 11. Overall, another pretty good episode. It was kind of slow at first, but... Hosey made up for it. <laughs> Oh my god, every scene, I loved it, honestly. Can we get more of that, literally? Whenever Hosey gets at least one bit of content, it saves the episode, okay? So yes, more please. But yeah, anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this episode and what your theories are for next week's episode. And I will see you guys next time.